focus comes from saying no to a thousand things to make sure we don't get on the wrong track or try to do too much. One of the pearls of wisdom from Steve Jobs. I call this the shiny, shiny syndrome, and it's been strong in, I think, every business I've ever worked for. It's the desire to pursue every new idea as soon as somebody influential in the business thinks of it. It makes a brilliant organisation into something truly mediocre. When Steve Jobs was brought back into Apple, he pursued a process of simplification, cutting 15 product lines down to just four. He said, if we only get four, we could put the A team on every single one of them. And if we only have four, we could turn them all every nine months instead of every 18 months. And if we only had four, we could be working on the next generation or two of each one as we're introducing the first generation. If you want more details on that, there's a link in the show notes to this video. The key is do less, but do it better. So when you plan your marketing strategy, keep it focused and keep it appropriate to your resources. When you're targeting, think of the people, the market segments you're not going to try to target. Remember one of Seth Godin's quotes, matter a lot to a few people. Positioning, think about the claims you're not going to make because they don't matter to the people that you're targeting. Objectives, stick to three or four, not 10 or 12. Products, focus on a few gems and kill the shit ones. Brands, have one. If you have several product lines, make yourself a branded house like Virgin. Everything they do is Virgin this, Virgin that. Don't make yourself a house of brands like Unilever. It takes enormous resources to do that well. They do it brilliantly, but just think of how big their marketing departments are. Michael Porter made a similar quote about strategy being what you choose not to do. It's later in this video series. And remember that focus means cutting things you really care about, not cutting the dross you weren't going to do anyway. And you do that because it means your focus goes on something even better, something that really deserves to see the light of day and come to fruition. And once your decision is made, it's made. Don't keep on changing decisions. Remember, projects are like bridges, utterly pointless until that moment when they're 100% complete.